If you're a B2B business owner looking to scale your cold email, then you know how important it is to choose the right cold email sending tool. If you end up making the wrong decision, you're going to have bad deliverability, a bunch of expensive invoices, and absolutely no results to show for it. Now, as an agency owner who sends over 1.5 million emails per month across all the clients, I've tested all the popular tools. Everything from Lemlist to Apollo to Smarly to Instantly, they all claim to be the best, but they're really not. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to break down what's the best tool to choose depending on what your business needs. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, to begin with, we're going to talk about instantly. Now, most likely speaking, if you're watching this video, you already know what instantly is. You're also probably considering instantly as one of your first options to what to use as a cold email tool. And honestly, instantly is probably one of the most simple and user friendly tools to get started with. Uh, some of the main pros that I would want to go into using instantly is stuff like it's very easy to use. It's probably the most stable software on the market now when I say this what I mean is I've used the other tools and they always do have stuff where they're kind of lagging in whether it's long loading times or the search functionalities don't work right instantly doesn't really have that instantly feels like it's a finished and polished product and there aren't really any problems with it whatsoever which is honestly not something that I can say about other products so if you're someone who values the UI and the UX of the tool that you're using instantly is definitely going to be one of the better options on the market now another thing they offer unlimited warm-up now although warm-up might not actually be something that you should be doing in code email which we're gonna say for a later video topic they do offer it now the reason why this is important is going to become apparent later in the video but that is something worth mentioning that instantly does offer unlimited warm-up now instantly also does have one of the most customizable warm-up settings on the market uh, although that I wouldn't say that's necessarily a good thing giving the person or giving the user too much things to control could be overwhelming for those people who know what they're doing having that extra bit of customization is pretty useful okay so when it comes to settings instantly is definitely one of the better platforms now instantly also has a mobile app now a lot of people who own code email agencies or even just run code email for themselves know how important it is to manage replies quickly now if you're not someone who sits at your computer all day or you don't have an inbox manager then having a mobile app where you can manage your replies is obviously going to be very very important and that's something that instantly excels in now some of the other providers that we're going to talk about later in the video also have mobile apps but i would say that hands down instantly has the best one it's the one that is the most stable it's been around for the longest and they've had the biggest amount of time to actually develop it. Now, instantly also has what, in my personal subjective opinion, is the best customer service. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't used instantly support that much because I haven't needed to. But every single time that I have contacted them, my issues were solved like that. It was super quick, and you know, it was just honestly a very satisfactory experience, which I honestly can't say is the same with some of the other platforms that are on this list. Okay, now those are the main benefits. Um, if you want to be going for instantly from a UI UX perspective, meaning like you just wanted this most smooth user experience, instantly is the software to go with. Okay, now let's talk about some of the cons. Now, number one biggest con, the reason why we actually don't personally use instantly in our agency is instantly's API. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, an API is basically a way to access a program without actually going on the web page. Meaning if you want to have some sort of automations or some sort of sequence creation process or some sort of inbox management system, which is actually outside of instantly, then doing it with instantly can be a little bit challenging because they do lack some of the most crucial endpoints required to build a system like this. Now, this feature alone is pretty much the primary reason why we don't use instantly. But in essence, that's something you need to keep in mind. Now, Instantly's pricing is also slightly more expensive when it comes to a small batch of emails, meaning if you're only doing email for yourself, but it gets significantly more expensive when you start to scale, meaning instantly really isn't the best software if you're looking to scale, meaning if you own a lead generation agency or you're just planning on running a ton of emails for yourself, you need to keep this in mind. You're going to be paying a premium. Instantly's master box is also known to be slightly slower than the other providers on this list. Now, keep in mind, this is something that's actually a problem with all master boxes on all cold email sending tools. None of them are really real time sync like they claim, but of course, instantly does have a little bit of a slower master inbox from what we've seen. Of course, this could change in a future update, but at the moment, at the time of posting this video, instantly's master inbox is a bit slow. Now, I would say that instantly is probably the most beginner friendly, beginner friendly tool. So if you're looking to just get into cold email, you've never done it before, you just want to run it for yourself, you're not looking to scale up and do anything crazy, instantly is probably the best tool for you to go with. Hey guys, we're going to get right back 
back to the video in just a minute. But real quick, do you want a done for you cold email lead generation solution that is able to consistently book you meetings with your ideal buyers? We just helped Morty from your business now book over 30 clients in just two months of working together. And Avi from Daily Dose of Data Science get over 40 calls in our first 10 days of sending cold email. Now, if you guys want a consistent flow of buyers on your calendar, you can book a meeting with me and my team in the description below. Okay, talk soon. Now let's talk about Smartlead. Now, Smartlead is probably the second most popular cold email sending tool on the market. It's one of the tools that we primarily use at our own lead generation firm. So let me get into it. Let me tell you guys why I personally like Smartlead. Now, number one, pricing. This is something that is very important for beginners and also pretty important if you're looking to scale. Smartlead is a little bit cheaper than instantly if you're looking to get started on a small scale, meaning if you're just sending emails for yourself or maybe you just have an agency but you don't have that many clients, Smartlead is gonna be a little bit cheaper than instantly. Okay, but where Smartlead really starts to stand out is when you start to scale. Just like I mentioned earlier in the video, instantly is just not the best platform when it comes to scaling your code emails. Smartly on the, on the other hand is very friendly when it comes to scaling, giving you a ton of different options when it comes to plans. Everything from I believe 90k leads all the way to 30 million or something crazy like that, right? So Smartly is really good if you're looking to scale. Now the next thing, API. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, when you're scaling an agency, you might want to have automations. Now I have a video on this on my channel where I show a Airtable setup where I'm basically automated or I've made the process of inbox management a lot easier because again, when you are sending about 1.5 million emails a month, you guys can imagine there's a ton of replies and even saving one click or even saving one gesture per reply is going to result in hundreds of hours saved per month. Okay, so it's very important. That's one of the biggest reasons why we use Smartlead purely because of their API, it's the best API on the market. So that's a big benefit of using Smartlead. Now another thing, community. Smartlead has one of the biggest and most active communities in the cold email world, period, let alone within sending tools, okay? They have a Slack community, and they have probably like tens of thousands of people in there. And whenever you have a question that is technical related or a question about the platform or a question about how to use a certain endpoint in their API, their community is always very, very helpful. Now I will say one thing that I have noticed, a lot of people will try to sell their services in there. So if you are in the community, just be careful not to end up buying some, some service, but overall, great community. I think that's one of the best things about Smartlead is the fact they have such a good community. And the next thing is warm up. Smartlead also does offer an unlimited warm up pool just like Instantly does. So that's not really much of a concern and pretty much has all the same other features like Instantly, right? So I wouldn't say there's any big differentiation in terms of like the actual features that are the core of the tool. Now let's get into the cons of Smartlead. Okay, so Smartlead is very buggy at times, right? Now, anybody who uses Smartlead will tell you this. It's very slow. It's very annoying. Sometimes things won't load in. Sometimes you just can't upload leads. It's honestly a very frustrating process. It's probably one of the things I hate most about Smartlead, but you do have to understand it from their perspective. They are a software company things do happen and that's just the raw reality of things. Now it doesn't happen with instantly. So, you know, hats off to their team, but it does happen on Smartlead. Okay. The next thing now the Smartlead support, um, obviously customer support, big thing in code email. Um, they are good. I'm not going to pretend like they're bad, but they're definitely not on instantly's level. There's been several situations where we had a problem that we needed to be fixed quickly and it would take several hours to get a response. And now the last thing, is they do have a mobile app just like instantly, but it's definitely nowhere near as good. Meaning if doing cold email replying on the go is something that is important to you, then most likely speaking, the mobile app on Smartlead is not gonna be a sufficient solution for you. Now, that doesn't mean you can't make your own Airtable solution or your own solution elsewhere because you do get access to a very powerful API. But that does mean that if you aren't looking to do any automations out of the box, you do get a slightly worse app. Now, I would say the Smartlead is the best for you if you're looking to scale or you're a lead generation agency. Um, even though there are a couple of cons with Smartlead, they're very minuscule when you compare what you're really getting. Like I would, I would sacrifice, you know, having a slow tool uh, for a better API any day of the week because that's what matters to me, right? So that's why I'm saying that if you're looking to send a ton of emails or you're a lead generation agency owner, this is where you would probably use Smartlead, right? If you're just doing cold email for yourself, probably these features won't matter as much to you. So it'd probably be a better idea to go with instantly. 
Now, moving on, Lem List. Now, so far, I've been comparing Smarlet and Instantly very closely. That's because Smarlet and Instantly are the two biggest code email setting tools. They're the ones that most people are considering using, and they are kind of like the biggest rivals. Now, in all honesty, Lem List does not really compare with Smartlead or Instantly because it's not necessarily the same thing. Uh, Smartlead and Instantly are kind of considered to be cold email tools, whereas Lemlist is a cold outreach tool, meaning it's kind of like its own thing. Now, it's also significantly more expensive than Smartlead and Instantly to the point where it's not even reasonable. Like just for reference, whenever we launch a client, the minimum that we would do is ever like 100 accounts per client. And on Smartlead and Instantly, obviously you get billed by the amount of active leads you have in a account, meaning the amount of leads that you concurrently have in your account. Whereas as with Lemlist, you get billed based on the amount of email accounts you have. And I believe it's about $159 for 15 email accounts in Lemlist. That's the most expensive publicly available plan. Meaning if you wanted a hundred email accounts, that would cost you around $1,060 a month, which is obviously just for the sending software. That's not reasonable. Now, the other thing is they have a ton of features, which are very unnecessary. They also integrate with LinkedIn. They have like AI powered voice notes. These are all things that we would never use. We would never do for a client. So if you're looking for a cold email tool, I would recommend going with a platform that actually specializes in cold email tools rather than a general platform like Lemlist. Now, I have nothing against Lemlist. I'm sure their founders are good people, but in all honesty, it's not a tool that I would recommend to anybody because if you are looking for an all-in-one prospecting tool, there's better options than Lemlist. And if you're looking for a cold email tool, which I assume most of you are, you know, your options are definitely <laughs> shouldn't be Lemlist. So with that being said, that is about it for Lemlist. And now let's go to Apollo. Now, most people know Apollo as just a leads database where you can get data for cold email. But what most people don't know is Apollo actually has a CRM built into it, as well as a cold email sending tool, meaning you could hypothetically speaking, do the entire lead generation process all inside of Apollo. In all honesty, Apollo is probably the absolute worst thing you could use for sending. I would even recommend Lemlist over Apollo because it just doesn't make sense to use Apollo. Number one, you're gonna have horrible deliverability. This is a known fact. Apollo is not optimized for deliverability. Um, it was just kind of thrown together just to, you know, to be an offering. So you're gonna have worse deliverability with Apollo. It's significantly more expensive. Their CRM isn't even that good. If you're running a real agency, like a real business, like you should definitely have an actual CRM set up, not like just some quickly thrown together thing. And it's just not gonna be a good experience in any category. So I honestly just would not recommend that whatsoever. Now, funny enough, a lot of the time when we have calls in our agency in Borks, uh, and we hear people say that, oh, you know, code email doesn't work. We tried it out and it didn't work. And we ask them, what did you use to send? It's almost always Apollo. Like, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody who got positive results using the Apollo sending tool. Okay. Now, just so we're clear, I'm not saying Apollo's data is bad. Apollo's data is amazing, right? That's, that's something that you should definitely be using, but you shouldn't be using Apollo as a cold email sending tool. Okay. So with that being said, I wouldn't recommend Apollo to literally anybody in any circumstance whatsoever. So that's about it for Apollo and moving on. Now, for those of you who want to launch small campaigns, you're not planning on scaling too much and it's just for yourself. You're not a lead generation agency owner or nothing like that. I would recommend you go and you use instantly. Honestly, it's just the easier software to use, smaller learning curve, less problems, and that's overall going to be the smoother experience. Now, on the other hand, if you're planning on sending a lot of emails, you are a lead generation agency owner, or you just for some reason want to use the API, but you're sending a small amount of volume, then I would recommend going with smart lead. Okay. But in both situations, I would always recommend to keep your choices either between instantly or smart lead. I would really never recommend going on any other platform. Stay away from anything that's not either instantly or uh, smart lead and genuinely do not go with Apollo genuinely do not go with Lem Lemless. Those are just not good options. Okay. And in terms of basic sending functionality, like we're talking about deliverability, basic features, I would say both the tools are actually pretty equal. What really comes down to making your decision is what do you care about in terms of the other features? So with that being said, that is about it for this video. Now, I just want to mention one thing, the cold email sending tool. Um, it's only one small part of the equation, meaning 
even if you get that right, it's not going to make that big of a difference. If you really want to get results with cold email, you need to have laser targeted scripts. Uh, you need to have good quality lead lists. You need to be consistently able to source leads. You need to be coming up with good offers, effective call to actions. You need to be reply handling within five minutes to every single person that's replying and a ton of other things. Now, if coincidentally you are a B2B business and you don't want to deal with any of that and you just want it on a done for you basis, then of course you can book a call with me and my company Borks below. It'll be the first link. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe and until next time.